Now, in many other videos, I've talked about the importance of vitamin B1 because if you're deficient, this is what's going to happen. The first symptom you're going to get is a type of anxiety or a nervous-like restless feeling, which is really going to affect your ability to tolerate stress. So you're going to be a bit edgy. So restlessness, even restless leg syndrome is a B1 deficiency. If it becomes very severe, you start developing panic attacks. The fastest way to get rid of a panic attack is to take some B1. Also, you have lack of stamina and fatigue and even an excess amount of sweating. I don't know if you've ever seen someone that just breaks out in sweat for no reason or they're always sweating. That's a B1 deficiency. Now, what is the best source of B1? That's what I want to talk about in this video. Right here, nutritional yeast, because it's a natural source, especially if you get it unfortified without the synthetic vitamins that they usually add in there. Now, if you're doing short-term synthetic vitamins, it should be okay, but a long-term maintenance dose of synthetic B1, not a good idea. But these are the foods that have the most B1. Number one is pork. Now, of course, a lot of people don't eat pork. It's totally fine. You can get B1 from many other sources, but I'm just going to mention the foods that have the most B1. So six ounces of pork will give you 1.1 milligrams of B1, which will give you 96% of your RDAs. Now, normally an adult needs between 1.0 and 1.2 milligrams of B1. Okay, number two, salmon has a good amount of B1. In six ounces, you're getting 0.6 milligrams which will give you 48% of your RDAs. Flax seeds, okay, one ounce will give you a half of a milligram, 0.5 milligrams, which is 39% of your RDAs. Then we get to sunflower seeds. One ounce is 0.4 milligrams, will give you 35% of the RDAs. Green peas, one cup, will give you 0.4 milligrams, 35%. Macadamia nuts, one ounce, 0.3 milligrams will give you 30%. Acorn squash, one cup, will give you 0.3 milligrams, which is 30% of your requirements for B1. It's not just the consumption of foods that have B1. It's certain foods that you're eating or certain things that are depleting B1. Consuming refined sugars and carbohydrates severely deplete B1. Chronic stress will deplete B1. Taking diuretics depletes B1. Metformin, if you're taking that medication for diabetes, that depletes B1. If you're a diabetic or a pre-diabetic and you have high blood sugars, that alone can create a B1 deficiency. If you haven't seen my other videos on B1, I put them up right here. Check them out.